Our next caller is Sadie from Nevada. What's up, Sadie? What's your question? Hey, good morning, guys. Um, I was wondering how I could better my pull-ups as a female. So with work, we have a PT test, and um, part of it is doing pull-ups, and I've been able to max out at like 12. Um, and so I'm kind of hoping to bump mm. those numbers up. That's, that's uh, good. That, yeah, that's incredible. That's phenomenal. <laughs> you know, he, pull-ups is one of those things that took me a long time before – uh, I started doing like singles, doubles, and triples of like pull ups. You just don't you don't feel like you're getting as good of a workout. But if you want to mm-hmm. build strength in pull ups, one of the best things to do is to start doing them weighted and be okay with doing sets of one to three reps with you know mm-hmm. a you know a dumbbell or something that's uh, mm-hmm. that's either strapped to you or you're holding on to. Uh, that built pull up strength more than anything else that I ever did. Oh yeah, that's great. Now, Sadie, is this for a test that you need to pass, or is this just because you, just you want said to be a badass? Yeah. So, what's the deal? <laughs> no, guys. Actually, so I uh, I fought wildland fire on the helicopter crew here in Vegas, and so the beginning of summer we have a PT test. So we have to run a mile and a half. We get a twenty minute break, and then we have to do pull ups, push ups, and sit ups, and then we submit those scores to go compete against other helitac crews. Oh, yeah. oh! So you're this is a little competitive. You're basic, there. yeah. You're basically a badass. Okay, so here's the deal. How bad do you want to win this competition? <laughs> yeah, because I'm going to give you some advice, well, but depends. like like Nancy like Kerrigan, bad, advice. like break an ankle type no, of deal. No. Like, like, what are you asking? No, like how like how bad do you want to win this? I mean, being the only female, I want to credit. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to give you some. I'm going to give you some advice that I wouldn't necessarily give to somebody who's just looking to get stronger and improve their fitness. Adam is 100%, okay. Adam's 100% right. Start training for strength, so add weighted pull-ups. But here's the second piece. The lighter you are, the more pull-ups you're going to be able to do. So I would avoid heavy lower body exercises and do some more endurance stuff for the lower body. Get lighter in the legs, and that should add a few reps to your pull-ups at least. That sounds awesome. Okay, because I said about like 175, 180. So yeah, lean, leaning out, getting ready for it, right? To lean out a little bit while also starting to load the pull ups mm-hmm. and watch what happens when straight you get into, get wait, into the competition. Ratio. Wait, hold on. Let me get this straight. So you wait, you sit at 175 and you do 12 pull ups. Yeah, that's yeah, legit. That's really yes, sir. Yep, I'm about I'm six foot tall. So. Oh, oh, you shit. are you are strong. That is awesome. And, and these yeah. are all strict pull-ups, right? We're not. Uh, they are. They have around. to be a dead hang. Oh, we have good. to do a dead hang and then to the wow, chair. That's wow, impressive. that's impressive. That is impressive. Oh yeah, yeah. if you that's log- eight more than Justin can do. Yeah, it is, totally. So at least, <laughs> at least. Yeah, I'm if, for, if you I do if, like two now. If you <laughs> lost uh, some mass in your lower body um, and then did the weighted stuff, I could see you hitting twenty pull-ups. Uh, for sure, especially as strong as you already are, which is ex- have you ever have you ever trained singles, doubles, or triples for pull ups? That's weighted. So I've I've tried. So I've done pyramids with a weight vest, um, and that helps a lot. And I can probably get about three or four with a weight vest being fully loaded. And then I'll do that, and then I'll take the weight vest off, and then do a pyramid just body weight. Oh, mm-hmm. that's 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 awesome. Okay, so when you're doing heavy sets with pull ups, um, you want to you don't want to train to failure, right? So Pick a weight that you could do like four or five reps to failure. And do three. And then do two or yeah. three and then rest and then do it again and do like six or yeah. seven sets. Here's another strategy. H- have a pull-up bar somebody, somewhere in your house or around where you're at. And then, I don't know, 10 times a day when you walk by it, just do one pull-up. Yeah, body one. weight. Yeah, just body weight. One pull-up. And you'll get so good at doing them that you'll just- That's the sure. general advice I give for the most people, but you already being able to do 12 is already a leg up on, on, on most people I talk to about that. So to, to do that and then add the strength training on top of it, I guarantee you're going to see yeah. more. So, so I have a question for you. What makes you want to fight fires? Because that is a risky job. Um, so it's kind of funny when I got out of the Navy, I just happened to stumble upon the job here, I guess, and- I just love it. It's such a great community and an amazing people. And we just, you know, we work our asses off all summer long. We work 21 days and we get two days off, but it's so worth it. Wow. It's, it's so awesome. Well, now, are you the only one in your crew that's listening to the show or do you have uh, friends, that, other pe- co-workers that listen to Mind Pump with you? We actually, uh, when we're not busy, I introduced you guys with my favorite show when you guys are talking about the commandments of the gym. Oh, no. And, um, so listen, you know, when we're hanging out and nothing's really going on, we listen to a lot of podcast, podcasts and then especially like on our long drives and things like that. Awesome. Well, I, I do want to say thank you so much uh, for the work you do, uh, keeping all of us safe from the fires. And I would love to hear how you did with the test. So yeah. shoot one of us a DM after it happens. Let us know what happened. Awesome. Yeah, that'll be in May. So I really appreciate it, guys. Like, 
you guys have amazing information. So thank you. Awesome. Appreciate the Thanks support. For listening. Thank you. Wow, 12 pull-ups. Bro, 12 pull-ups at 175 and six foot, so she's longer limbed. Right. And that she's weight. That, yeah, length That cover. is legit. She's, she's legit stronger than Justin. She's that's for sure. <laughs> I know, I'm glad. You're not throwing yourself in that, too. That's, that's good. That's why you guys <laughs> yeah. are not fighting the fires out there. Like, Come on, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't imagine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I want to see you do that. She's definitely carrying me, dude, yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's exceptional, but you know, when you, when, uh, you know, like I said, the advice I gave her, I wouldn't give that to the average person and say, hey, lose... You right. know, lower body mass, but when you're trying to win a competition, I mean, five pounds of leg mass would you especially you would more, if she's up. doing it while she's increasing the weight. So exactly. if she's yeah. if she's leaning out and getting lighter on her lower half, like you're saying, while also but adding weight to like her her lower half when she's doing the actual She'll training. Crush. Well, one oh, other yeah. thing too, if she's not if she's trying to eliminate swing and all that, doing uh, like hollow body and like really like uh, you know making sure her body stays nice and rigid would be the only other thing I would add. Totally. 